Okay, commence operation. Make the wine le white legs the brown pants due to shitting in fear. Not that I've actually seen any of them wearing any pants! Damn it. Oh goody, more ambush. Here. Here. Fuck. Ow! Oh, piss. Hi there, buddy. Yeah. Sucks to be you. Enjoy a nice fortifying squirrel on a stick. Okay, Pit Boy's picking up one more. Joshua, do hurry up, mate. You know what? I got a present for you. <laughs> Ow. ow, 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 my face. Ow. Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord, for weird, weird herbal drugs. Eat shit. You had an anti-material rifle, yet you didn't use it. Instead, you decided to smack me in the face with... Ooh. Uh, super stim packs always make me feel like shit. I doubt these things are good for you in the long run. Alright, we continue down the river. And I guess the white leg encampment is somewhere nearby. Hi shitlord. Got you ranged. Well, I can't hit you, but How in dear name of God are you able to hit them with that pistol from so far away? Hmm, squirrel. Let me see, more tomahawks. We'll have a datarana. As I seem to be getting my head bashed in every five seconds. 12.7 millimeter rounds. Another note about shit they could possibly have no concept of. Oh, and look, I've gone the wrong way. Okay. Three Marys. And it's covered in blood. That is ominous. We're taking fire, but from where, I don't know. Ah, crap. The battle has already begun. Don't worry, we're coming. Oh, 
Holy shit, there's a dude on fire. And they've taken care of the white legs for us. Oh, 12.7. We'll take that. Which means we have ammo for... Oh, my baby. I'm not sure this is what he envisioned his children doing eventually, but... Hi! Shit! Seriously? What the hell is wrong? Why do we have roller skates? Mmm, tobacco. Stimpat. 45 case. Ah, oh, shit. Just... Somebody throw some fucking fire on them. Or bottle caps. We'll take that. No, we are not trying the weapon binding ritual again. That shit fucks you up. 45. Thank you, Jesus. More 45. Always happy for that. Yeah. Thank God there's water there. They literally just... <laughs> Fuck! Josh? Joshy? Ah, crap. Please don't tell me you got flattened. Whiskey and tomahawks, my two favourite things. Uh, I don't have the room to hold all this fucking whiskey. Sorry, my dear pistol love, you're gonna have to go. like the sound of this. Okay, there's going to be traps. Of A fucking plenty in here. You, buddy. Oh, hell. There goes another storm drummer. Shit, this must be the living quarters. Well, from the looks of things, I've already evac'd. They've brought with them only the uh, war band. Okay. What's up here? Bingo. Oh, an ashtray. Eleven rounds of forty five. High explosives. Trend five millimeter grenades, frag mines, missiles. They are pretty poorly stocked. Well Joshua did say they only make stuff from raiding. So 
So either everybody's equipped to the fucking teeth, which I'm guessing they will have brought out their best kit, or they didn't have that much to attack us within the start. Xander roots. Uh oh. And you. Oof, you fell in your own bear trap. Talk about hoisted on your own petard. And the. Your petard is about. 100 pounds of torque right into your leg. <laughs> Gotta get the sights corrected on this thing. Alright, this is the way I want to go. You're just beating a light leg to death. Keep up the good work. All right, now you're just becoming exceptionally vicious. Come on, it's only one fight, guys. Yeah, Todd. Like I've been in loads of fights. You don't see me playing fucking psycho card. Well, not that often. What do we have? Fuck all. Alright, from here at least I can snipe him. A lot of microscopes, music, well, sheet music holders, cones, lamps. Yeah, I'm guessing they evac a good part, part of the population. At least we don't have to deal with fighting whilst there's women and children running around. Actually, I think the women are just fighting us. Ooh. Hidden money. Shits! Shits is exactly what I'd say. Shun to left cover. Uh oh. God damn it, don't duck. There we go. There goes another one. Oh shit! Do I have anything with any fucking ammo? Fantastic. Oh, learning experiences in life. Definitely become better at the old zappy zappy and the old boom boom boom. And patching myself up as per usual. And also my weapons up. Let me think. Well, 
even after everything. I can still see where the enemy's coming from. Hey, 12.7 rounds. We'll take that. Whoa! Bear trap disarmed. Alright, you shitbirds. You want me to go through the valley, don't you? But I am not that thick. I will be going up here. What the? Good. Good. Just exploded something into fire. Nope, this isn't a secret cave passage as first anticipated. We'll just... Yep. Yeah. Hip. Uh-oh. You can nikumpa me! Come on. Through the back of the skull. Devil. Shush. Good kill, Hakis. They must be running out of troops now. Fuck's sake, they're not even sending any of them with guns after us anymore. Aha. Uh -huh. No. God you damn it. You at Syracuse, and you persisted. You took advantage of us at New Canaan to drive us out. And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground. A temple to God's glory on Earth. The only use for an animal in our temple is sacrifice. Um, I Kale don't think we sacrifice him. Conserva, oh. You understand me, don't you? Don't uh, you? Um, out man, Kuna man, mad. He kill all white legs. You talk. You stop. Okay, yeah, this ain't what I signed up for. Let me talk to Joshua about this. Him hear you. You talk. Don't listen to this thing. His cries are those of a mad beast caught in a thicket. He gave no mercy to my family, and I will give none to his. Yeah, you've already won. No need to kill him. Just look around. They're gone. He has a debt to pay for what he's done, and I've come to collect. And so he's chosen to cower in the water like a dumb animal. Yeah, if you believe this is true, he'll pay for it later. The sorrows don't need to see this. I want to take from them what they took from me, from my family. In this life. I want them to suffer. I want all of them to die in fear and pain. I want to have my revenge. Against him. Against Caesar. I want to call it my own. To make my anger God's anger. To justify the things I've done. Sometimes I tell myself that these wildfires never stop burning. But I'm the one who starts them. Not God. Not them. I can always see it in my mind. The warmth and the heat. It will always be a part of me. But not today. Yes, Go. that's right. Get out of here. Go back. Back to the Great Salt Lake. Yeah, they'll be kind of fucked anyway. I, I think you've only left him alive. That's it. 
It's finished. Thank you for staying with me. I couldn't have done this on my own. Let's go find Daniel. Tomorrow we'll be here soon. And there is much to do. Okay. And so it was that the conflict between the New Canaanites and the White Legs was finally resolved. The Courier's involvement had tipped the scale, shifting the fragile balance of power. Demoralized by the dead horse and sorrow's attack the Courier and Joshua Graham led against them, the White Legs retreated to Great Salt Lake. Their days were numbered. Word soon reached the Eighties tribe that the White Legs' spirit was broken. Their war chief, a dim shadow of his former self. By year's end, the 80s would overrun the White Legs camps, scattering the tribe to the winds and claiming the Great Salt Lake for its own. The Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the dead horses, eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. Seeing the courier convince Joshua Graham to spare salt upon wounds, the Sorrows learned that retribution could be tempered by mercy. Though he despaired at the Sorrows' loss of innocence, Daniel took some small consolation in the courier's lesson and prayed it would take root. Having helped eradicate the White Legs from Zion, the Dead Horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the Sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators, but found it difficult to reconcile the tribe's conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the 80s driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. Follows Chuck took the courier's words to heart and decided that he would behold the sights and sounds of distant lands with his own eyes and ears. After returning to Dead Horse Point, he quarreled with his family and other tribe members about his ambitions. One morning, they awoke to discover that Follows Chuck had set off alone, westward, into the wilderness. He was never seen again. Waking Cloud was distraught when she learned of her husband's death, but took comfort from her tribe and the compassion of the new Canaanites. She forgave Daniel for having concealed her husband's fate from her, and learned to accept his fate. When her grief faded, she took a husband from the Dead Horse tribe. At her bidding, he stayed close to home. The threat of the White Legs ended. Joshua Graham helped the Sorrows and Dead Horses tend to their fallen comrades and secure Zion. The Courier's words had stayed Joshua's wrath in his darkest hour, and in sparing salt upon wounds, he was changed. While he continued to advocate militant opposition to the enemies of New Canaan, he sometimes showed quarter to those who crossed his family. Eventually, this new spirit would diminish the myth of the burned man in distant lands. A small price for the peace it brought to Joshua Graham. For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the Sorrow's spiritual needs. Try as he might, he could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence of Joshua Graham. Demoralized, he returned to his family and Dead Horse Point. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. 
Well, Kaiser's got one less ally. And they left me some trinkets. Ah, Joshua's given me his gun. Chalky left me his headdress. Daniel sent me some clothes. Jesus, I thought he hated me. Oh, and a Bible. Thanks, Daniel. Ooh, Joshua sent me some of the uh, Salt Lake City Police Department armor. And a little war trophy from Old Salt Upon Wounds. Not bad at all. Hmm. Pretty nice duds. Farewell, Zion. Nice place. I've had... Who was... that? Weird. Oh uh, well. Time to make my way back to the boys, I guess. Work needs a doing.